Thank you for watching our consumer video. One, two, three. We're now starting the director's cut for business to business to take a closer look at collection centers, aggregation, factory production, along with more information regarding traceability, data controls for certification, and of course, the human impact on local jobs. You can see me standing here at the Jakarta Bay Collection Center and its proximity to the waterway that feeds into the ocean. This is substantial and real prevention of ocean plastics. The bottle collectors are micro-entrepreneurs that many times work as a community weighing, sorting, and transporting materials in small teams. Bottle collection can go to an aggregation center like this one to achieve scale and efficiency in transport. Once at the factory, production follows European and North American quality standards and goes through lab testing. We have an entire data team here that you can see that's checking all the bottle movements from the collection centers through the aggregation centers to factory production. That data is then sent to Ocean Cycle for third-party certification. Without that data in place, a container is not considered prevented ocean plastics. Prevented ocean plastics containers are 100% material that's come from collection centers in the at-risk area for ocean plastics. Let's put all these hands to work to solve the problem of plastic going into the ocean. These bottles will not be collected unless we decide to incorporate recycling into our plastic supply chain and put this material to our consumers with preference so that they can prefer your products as something that's substantial and real in its sustainability and genuinely is doing something about the ocean plastics problem.